STQB, Advanced Level, Test Analyst, Question 14. Which of the following is a typical work product that the test analyst would deliver as a part of the test closure activities? A. A list of all deferred defects. B. A list of all rejected defect reports. C. A list of all defects found in production and fixed in this release. D. A list of all resolved defects. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and chancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. You can click on pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is A. A list of all deferred defects. During the test closure activities, the test analyst may deliver a list of all deferred defects. Deferred defects are those that were discovered during testing but are not fixed in the current release. These defects are usually postponed to be addressed in future releases or at a later stage of the development process. The list of deferred defects provides transparency about known issues that were not resolved in the current testing cycle. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is wrong. Rejected defect reports are those that have been reviewed and determined not to be valid or are not going to be addressed. While this information might be part of the overall defect tracking process, it may not be a primary work product delivered during test closure. Answer C is wrong, because a list of all defects found in production and fixed in this release is more related to the defect resolution process and the tracking on defects post-production. It is not a typical work product delivered during test closure, which is more focused on summarizing the testing activities. Answer D is wrong. While tracking resolved defects is essential, it may be part of the overall defect tracking system. However, during the test closure, the emphasis is often on summarizing the testing effort rather than providing detailed lists of individual defect statuses. In summary, the primary focus during test closure is on summarizing the testing effort, documenting the outcomes, and providing relevant information for process improvement. A list of deferred defects is a common word product in this context, as it communicates issues that were identified but not addressed in the current release. Explanation As additional information, let's see test closure definition in the ISCQB glossary. During the test closure phase of a test process data is collected from completed activities to consolidate experience, testware, facts and numbers. The test closure phase consists of finalizing and archiving the testware and evaluating the test process, including preparation of a test evaluation report. I think this question is some difficult for you, but I want to help you to figure out all the questions of the ISTQB Certified Tester Advanced Level Test Analyst 
force. I wish you good luck. Never give up.